Alright guys, welcome back to our 36th video and in this video we're going to go ahead and populate our database by creating information. So right now I'm on our PHP homepage. So if you guys ever want to come back to our homepage, just go ahead and click on this little house. But let's go ahead and open up our database. And how do we want to create information? Well, we need to insert information. And by doing that, let's go ahead and click on information. And we can either click on structure or, or there's a shortcut right here to insert. But I'll just go ahead and click on structure. And in that way, our insert shows up right here. And this is how we create information to populate our database or our tables. So what do I want to insert information to? I want to insert information into our menu name, our position, as well as our visible. Let's go ahead and click insert. Okay, so for our, our ID, I already set it to auto increment. So anything that I put here is going to override that. So I do not want to do that. And disregard this down here. This is the same exact thing. They just replicate it. So don't worry about that. Well, all we're doing is we're focused on our top four fields up here. So what do I want for our first menu name? Well, I named it guitars. So let's go ahead and just type guitars. Okay. So our first our first menu name for guitars, so I'll go ahead and just type Fender. Is that okay with you guys? And this will be our first position. And do I want this to be visible? Yes, I do. So I'm going to hit 1, and then I'm going to hit Go. Perfect. So an inserted row. All of our MySQL ran up here. Again, if we, went, if we did not have PHP MyAdmin, we would have to do this. But we do. So let's go back to Information. And look down here. Okay, so we created our first table of information. So we have our ID with our primary key set to 1 with our menu name Fender at the first position. And yes, this is visible. Well, let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and add a new one. So we can either insert from up here, we can go back to our table over here, or we can, can we click on another one down here? Create new? No, I'm just going to go ahead and insert another one. So for our second value, or our second menu name, let's go ahead and create, what's another guitar company? Fender Gibson. And this will be our second position. And do I want this to be visible? to be visible. Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and save it. Okay, let's go back to our table. And here we have our second piece of information down here. We have the Gibson as a second ID, as a primary key. It's number two in ID. And a position is number two. And this is visible. And again, remember how um, our ID is kind of like a social security. So if we had two menu names that were the same name, like Fender, they would not have the same ID because it's set to auto increment. So it would just go one, two, three, four, all the way up to, I think it was 999. I think that's what we create the, the limit on our integers. So let's go and create another row of information. So I'm going to go to insert. And I want another guitar company. I don't even think I know another guitar company. What about Rickenbacker? Rick. Kinbacher. I think this is what John Lennon used to play. And we'll set the position to 3. And do I want this to be visible? Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and click Go. Okay, now let's go back to our table of information called Information. And here we go. So we have three, we have three pieces of information in our database right now. We have we have four fields of information in our database right now. But we have three menu names at three positions that are all visible. And I want to go ahead and create one more row of information. And we're going to title this Miscellaneous. This is going to be the fourth position. And I do not want this to be visible. I don't want this to show up. And I'll tell you why in the next video. So, okay, our SQL ran. This looks good. Inserted all is well. Let's go back to here and let's look at our table of information. So see how I said it kind of looked like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet? This is what I was referring to. And we can delete this row right here. But if we delete this row, we don't get this ID number back. So if we want to create another fender, it's going to be, it's going to have the primary key of an ID of five. Once we delete this, we don't get it back. So keep that in mind. So, okay, so we just created a bunch of information. We put it into our database. And hopefully you guys are following along. And in the next video, we'll, I'll show you another couple tricks of 
things we can do while we're in PHP MyAdmin. All right, guys, good luck.